Hello. If you watched my last video, you know that I ordered the Atomos Shinobi Mark II and I wasn't happy with it because of a few reasons. You can check that video out to see why. But I was still in the market for a new monitor. I'm not really happy with the Shinobi Mark I either. So I went ahead and ordered the Viltrox DCX series touchscreen six inch. Whoa, there's a light in here. Just kidding. I did that to make it look cool. Viltrox DCX2. Some of the other videos I watched online about this thing looked like it had insane build quality. So I'm pretty excited. Let's check this thing out. Oh yeah, it's a nice case. It's very nice. Whoa, there's an astronaut in it. Got hopefully all the cables we need here. HDMI. HDMI to mini HDMI. Oh, sick, comes with a battery that you can charge with a USB-C cable that is tight. I'm never good at opening these things, I just rip them. And then I go to return it, I'm like, no! Oh, sweet, it's got this, uh, we have the mount to install it. I have a couple small rig ones already, but it's nice that it comes with everything if you don't have it already. And now for the main event. Open it as slowly as possible so that you have to increase my watch time. Oh my goodness, this feels so nice. Whoa, because this quality is insane. It's like substantially heavier, so it kind of sucks that most of what I do is handheld, but um, that is so sick. Yeah. I'm not going to get tired of that. Check this out. You go. Okay. Throw this on. For the sake of this video, I'll just use all the stuff that comes with it. Put it on the C70. Oh yeah. Yeah, that increases the weight substantially. Just do my out. Why is it upside down? Oh, the monitor flips based on its perspective. Hey, that's cool. I wonder if that works vertically as well. No, of course not. Okay, so we've got a few different power sources on the bottom here. We have USB-C, um, DC in, and a USB. We've also got um, a mount on the side for vertical mounting. And then on the top, if you can see, we've got a bunch of different programmable buttons. Uh, looks like a fan exhaust here so it doesn't overheat. Overall, pretty cool. F1. Cool, so F1, we've got your scopes, histogram, F2 is false color, F3, oh, we've got the LUTs, and then we'll turn the false color off. F4, zebras, and extra settings. You can turn on your grid. Oh, wow, the touchscreen feels super nice, really responsive, um, better than the Shinobi. I might do another review in the future of it outside. Um, supposedly it's twice as bright as the Shinobi. I really don't like it when people are like looking over your shoulder and they can see what you're filming. So a little extra privacy, like don't look at me. This monitor only costs $238, which is 
I think maybe like $100 less than the Shinobi. And to me, build quality, touch screen, I don't know, all the features, all the things it comes with, the sunshade, like this is way better value for your dollar. I hope that helps you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so I can keep buying new toys and let you know how they feel. Goodbye.